good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, as you can see, your girl is bundled up. Um, it's actually not, I mean, well, it's cold, yes, in the car, but it's not cold, cold had I not pre start the car. I still got my pineapple in. It don't look too bad. I gelled up my sides, got my little headband on, got my gloves on. Yes, my gloves don't match my scarf, that's okay. Um, I have a leopard print sweater, so I decided to bring my leopard print scarf. Normally, I would bring like my black and white scarf, but whatever. I'm trying to coordinate, coordinate. Got on my little black wooden earrings. I got on a um, black and natural wood beaded bracelet today. And I have on my winter coat. Yes, your girl got on her winter coat, and it's all the way zipped up. I have like little, what's that, fleece? Fleece around the collar part so it keeps me all nice and warm. Yes, yes, yes. So, it's 1045, church starts at 11. Cousin D said church is starting on time. So, guess what? Your girl is on her way. I pray that, um, I've already had the car warming up for about mm, 15 total minutes. They say, fun fact, oh, hold on, sorry, I had music playing, didn't know, um, but they say, if you have a fuel injected, fuel injected car, you don't necessarily have to warm your car up, I'm sorry, we live in Minnesota, I'm going to warm my car up if I can, um, so I love the fact that I have remote start so I can do it from the house. I also have a heated steering wheel, praise Jesus, and heated seats, hallelujah. So it's time to go to church. Um, oh my goodness, y'all. I've been reading my, uh, been reading my word and reading my financial plan um, and my Bible. Woo, it's so good, it is so good. I mean, just every day, it's just like, I won't say conviction, but it's just like every day, like, okay, this is, this is what the word is saying. This is what you need to do. And you know what? I might, um, when I'm done with my 28 days of my financial path plan that I'm reading, I may redo it. Um, because I want to, I want it to be like down in my soul, like, you know, live, live and breathe what I'm reading. And so, that's definitely something that I want. Can you please come on so I can get to church on time? Thank you. Anyway, I'm sorry. I want to, you know, live and breathe it. So, but I know I talked again about, you know, having more than enough. And, you know, what are we doing with what we have? You know, how can we want more and more and more if we don't even do what we need to do with what we have, right? Child, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So, it's really, really, really just got me on a great path. So, I'm super excited about that. Um, I started working. So, the last video you saw would have been about my vision board. I started the crafting of it in my mind. So, like, I have some things already set. Like, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. But I started looking at my books. And in my books, there are certain things I'm like, mm, yes, no, yes, no. So, I'm definitely probably not going to use one of the books. Just because I'm like, mm, what I think I want for my vision board can come out of the other two. So, that one I'll definitely leave for my February meeting uh, for my vision board party. You know, it's contribution because I know um, majority. Well, I would say half of our PTA folks that are coming um, are people of color, so they will they will like to have something with re representation um, of themselves. So, yeah, that'd be that. Um, I kind of want to go to the gas station again. I'm at a little above a half, but y'all, we are under, <laughs> I call it polar freeze. We are under polar freeze um, through Tuesday morning. So by the time you see this, this will probably be either Wednesday, Thursday this week, but 
we are definitely under a wind chill advisory um, from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, supposed to end on Tuesday. So that's four days. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And boss man probably should get outside and run his cars. He's only ran one so far. And I'm like, you know, with this, luckily we didn't get the snow. So praise God for that. Excuse me. We were under the advisory that we were going to get three to five inches. Three to five to three to six. We got mm, in the city. We got a dusting. Now outside of the city, they got some snow. Closer to West Kansas side, they really got some snow. So if you follow me on Instagram, I was doing um, some like little short videos or whatever from when we were out Friday. So Friday when I got off work, and I'll just talk about it here because I don't think I talked about it in the other two videos but um, that I posted recently. Um, but Friday, the storm was rolling in. And so we ended up Friday going to get our toilet and our toilet seat. And then, of course, we had to get some groceries because I was like, okay, if we're going on polar freeze, I want to be in the house. Well, then... Um, Sorry. Hold on. I'm not trying to have it blow too high on the mic, but I'm like, I need defrost because it was like it was doing something. But anyway, so I had, um, I was telling husband, I said, you know, let's go and get our errands done as quick as we can on Friday. Well, Friday is when the start of the storm happened. But when we went to, we were also going to get comic books and stuff for Miss Pina. And we had to go on the other side of St. Paul to this uh, suburb called Invergrove Heights. Babe, and let me tell you. When we got over there to Invergrove Heights, um, we ended up driving through one of their neighborhoods. It looked like it had been snowing or had snowed for a while over there. Like, it was so much snow. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so... Um, you know, I was just like, okay, you know, let's just <laughs> continue on. Let's get up out of here. So, boss man was driving because it was just a lot of snow. But, like, it was foggy. And I was recording, like, the the planes up in the sky. Because you could barely see the planes coming through the clouds. It was something else. I know folks who had been traveling and came back, they probably was in a culture shock of the cold. Because, yes, it was super duper cold. Ooh, it was 1052. Lord, let me make it on time. Jesus, let me make it on time. I just thought, I don't know if I got any mints in my purse. Boss man just made breakfast, y'all. Oh, my God. He made the most wonderful, the most wonderful um, omelet this morning. Um, his He's got a friend who, I don't know if it's the friend or if the friend's daughter works for like a restaurant company or whatever. So every now and then, you know, because of, they do a, um, is it called barter system? I'm thinking it's the barter system. Well, anyway, my husband and, and his friend, they, when they get stuff more in abundance, they share. So, like, there was one time where he got, like, all these, like, bags of Doritos. You know, the little small bags that you do, like, the walking tacos in. He gave us, like, a plethora of those twice matter of fact because we got the regular and the cool ranch then there was another time he gave us a bunch of onions um then there was another time he gave us a bunch of salad um this time he just gave us a bunch of um like pico de gallo and uh so husband made omelets this morning child i don't that omelet was so big it was covering the plate and then he fried up some bacon oh my god i'm like if I would have still been at home, I would be asleep right now. I'm not even kidding you. Because I'm like, I'm ready to close my eyes. But I said, let me go head on and get my, my word in. Let me get my praise on. But I don't think... Because mm, I just ate. And it had onions in it. And I'm like, ooh. Can't breathe on nobody. Jesus. Lord. I'm feeling around in my purse trying to see. Do I have any mints? Lord help. Because I had already brushed my teeth, right? And I was, he was trying to get me to eat before I left. So I'm like, okay. But I didn't realize it was that many onions in there. Yeah. Mm. Oh. I know I got like Tootsie Rolls or whatever. But I don't know if I got any 
Um, I'm feeling. Let's see if I got any uh, mints. Mm, I'm sure First Lady got some. So, I'll just ask her. <laughs> Can I get a mint, please? So, anyway. I'll dig again when I'm not driving. I can't focus on that and focus on this. So... Ooh, but that food was good, y'all. Oh, my God. My husband. Mm. And, see, I'm starting to love this. Because mm, he's been getting up on the weekends and cooking. You know, making breakfast and stuff. I'm like, okay, husband. I see you. Appreciate you. Love you. Ooh, thank you, God. So, my car is saying negative three outside. Oh, my Lord. Negative three outside, when I tell you cold, this is the kind of cold that if you hit a wrong pothole, you will bust your tire because it's just that daggone cold outside. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know what I'm going to do, though. When Before we get out of church, when I think church about to be over, I'm going to do do remote start my car and get it. Knock some of this little chill up out of here. But with my seat on and my steering wheel, baby, I'm feeling good. But anyway, oh, that breakfast was good. My God. Mm. When we were first dating, fun fact, when we were first dating, boss man used to make me omelets all the time. Because when I was a kid, my mom, at home, we always just had scrambled eggs. Now, my husband, he, and he said when he was younger, his mom always made scrambled eggs too. Um, and so that's all I ate. I remember my grandmother used to like fry eggs or, you know, do like the eggs over easy, but I'm like, ew, cause I don't like that, that yolk, that yolk gotta be, it gotta be cooked for a girl. Mm -mm. But Bossman likes his eggs over easy. And so I would, you know, cook his eggs like that or whatever. Um, from time to time. Because it took me a minute to get that flip right. <laughs> First lady said, listen, I'm parking in the front. <laughs> I ain't walking across that street. I know that's right, cousin. Get it, get it, girl. I'm parking across the street, though. Because I don't trust the streets. I don't know these folks like that. Be hitting my stuff. Mm. But anyway, when we first started dating, he used to make me omelets all the time. Used to love it. Okay, let me put this hood on. Because her sister ain't trying to freeze her little head off. Woo! All right, pay my strength in the Lord. See y'all at the church. Woo! Hey, y'all. <laughs> Lord, let's go. Jesus! What's the temperature at? Let's see. Ooh, wait a minute, hold on. Turn my seat on. <sighs> Turn on my steering wheel. It's one degree. <laughs> it's one degree outside. Oh, wait. I stayed a little longer today because my cousin was there. Oh, yeah, I was about to be a whole family affair at church. Okay. Oh, so, you know, this is going to be my new thing now, doing a, a um, recap of service. Oh, we. But first, let me say, there was a song saying, it's called Give Me You. So the choir was asked to sing two selections, but at the end of the second selection, because it kind of didn't go that well, um, Lady decided to sing a solo. And the song itself was amazing. Woo wee. Mm -mm -mm, I'll be singing it all day. Um, but the title of the message today was God is Changing Your Story. And then he said. His, yeah, so it was God is Changing Your Story, and then he did like a, a second uh, title called Blind Begging But Blessed. He came out of John chapter 9, verses 1 through 4. Um, so some of the highlights I just picked up um, from the message was, in spite of all I'm going through, I'm still blessed. He may not come when we want him, but he's always on time. Jesus has healing power. Suffering is not always a punishment mm. 
uh, because he talked about the the blind man begging blind man and how the disciples thought that oh you know he must have sinned or his parents must have sinned that's why he's blind um but you know the pastor said no that was just that was a setup for god to show his power okay um once again in spite of what's going on god can change your story the power comes from god and always you can always call on jesus um but i wrote down the song give me you Whew. That song was, it was mm, right on time. So like I said, that's going to be something that's probably going to be in my spirit for the rest of the day. Because baby, I was singing it. Um, but, so my cousin, oh my gosh. When I tell you, it was like a deja vu moment. So my cousin who was the first lady. And let me get going once so I can get home. Okay, we good, we good. My cousin, who was the first lady, she, um, her mom is my aunt by marriage, and her father is my uncle, which is my dad's, one of my father's, my dad, but my father's big brothers, okay? Keep up with the story now. So then, my cousin who I came, who came today, she's a cousin who I've been like, okay, where you at, where you at? So, she came today, she is the niece of the first lady. Her mom and my mom were best friends since kids. So, my mom knew my father's family way before I was even thought about, before they got married, all of that. So, she had grew up with my cousin Maxine, which is my cousin Tamara's mother. My cousin Maxine has passed. She passed, Lord Jesus. My cousin Maxine passed the same day that I got engaged in 2005, January 10th. I'll never forget that. Um, but growing up, like I said, my mom and Maxine, they were best of friends. And then, of course, my cousin Tamara and I, we are three weeks apart. We are both Scorpio. She's an October. I'm a November Scorpio. But um, we grew up as best friends. So, like, when... We, as we got older, became adults and had kids and stuff like that, we would always go over to my uncle's house, which is Tamara's grandparents' house, and my aunt would always be like, oh, look at y'all sitting up there like Ruthie and Maxine, you know, stuff like that. And so, anyway, I had kind of like a deja vu moment because um, I was sitting there like, oh my goodness, you know, you know, Tamara and I, we sit up there like our moms, and then my cousin... Uh, who's the first lady she sitting up there like she the um like she's my aunt you know because she has the same kind of stature as my aunt who passed away because my aunt who passed away she just passed what a year ago yeah i think it's been a year but anyway so yeah just it was kind of like a deja vu moment for me but anyway and she had her newest grandbaby with her because she has two granddaughters and so we were just sitting there you know just and it was so funny because she sat in the back of the church. Now, remember, if you remember, when I first started going over here, um, when my cousin came in, she saw me. She was like, why are you sitting way back here? Come up here. She had me sit way up at the front. So when I walked in, I asked my cousin Tamara, I was like, why are you sitting way back here? And she was just like, well, you know, I got the grandbaby and I got all this stuff. And I said, oh, I said, well, you know, the last time, I said, the first time I came and sat in the back, I said, I had to move all the way to the second row. She said, are you kidding? I said, no, I'm not. Next thing you know, so I went up, I wasn't on second row, I was on third row because my, my first lady was on the second row. She turned around, gave me a hug and all that stuff. And, you know, we chatting. She must turn around. She still saw her sitting because she said, come up here. <laughs> Because she's kind of like, like I said, she's her, her her aunt, but when her mom passed away, she kind of took over being like a mom figure to her. Um, so, you know, she took her under her wing. She was like, no, uh-uh. And mind you, when my, when my cousin passed, um... When my cousin Maxine passed, I mean, my cousin Tamara was an adult, but you know, she was still young. I mean, you know, because that's been, who oh Lord, 19 years ago. So... And we're both 47. But anyway, it was a good message. It felt good to be there with family. I got to hold the little bitty baby. Y'all, I have not held a little baby since... Oh my God, who's the last baby I held? Was it my grandson? No, I've held a baby since then, haven't I? Mm. 
I don't know, but she was like, here. I was like, uh, okay. I felt like, what am I? I felt like foreign. Like, this is a little bit. But the baby was so precious. So, like I said, it's her grandbaby. Um, her first daughter's child. And I was like, she's so precious. I said, she don't make no sound. She said, oh, she made sound. She just was being good. <laughs> but it was just, it felt so good just to be around a brand new baby. So, her, so the baby, her granddaughter, is my... Let me think now. Fourth cousin. So, okay. So, I told you I have a lot of family on my father's side. So, my first lady, I'm saying my, I haven't joined yet. We'll talk about that in a second. But I haven't joined yet. But my first lady is my first cousin, okay? She is the aunt of my cousin Tamara. And Tamara is my second cousin because her mom, Maxine, is my first cousin. But the baby is my fourth cousin, when I tell you, I'm, I'm telling you, we got generations on top of generations through this family. It just felt so like, I mean, and she just felt, she felt like a little baby there. I was like, oh, I mean, she was so pretty. She didn't cry when I held her. And I was like, hi, pumpkin. And she was just, you know, I'm like, oh, I miss little babies. And now I'm getting a little emotional because, you know, it is Miss Peanut's birthday month. And I'm just like, I miss when my baby was a baby. <laughs> now she's bigger than me, taller than me and stuff. But anyway, so the pastor did come over, Pastor D. Um, he came over and because somebody was like, oh, you need to come on over and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And this lady was, you know, talking talking to me and, and you know, and so she going to say, my customer going to say, we coming. And I said, we? I said, I've been coming. You just started. She was like, well, you know, I had to handle business at the old church. I said, oh, okay. And then she asked me, was mom and dad coming? I said, nah. I said, because they, they're loyal to their church. I said, dad don't leave until a church is like, like diminished. And I mean that. Like, he's only, I'm trying to think. I don't know if dad went to a church prior to going to the church I grew up in. But the church that I grew up in, dad was there till the doors closed. Then he, you know, well, they, they're, yeah, they closed. Then he went to the other church. And that was a church that baby girl was baptized in. As well as was Miss Peanut baptized there too? Let me think. Yeah, so both my girls were baptized at the same church, so many years apart. But anyway, um, and Dad stayed with that church to the point of even when that church ended up selling their building, renting out another space, all of that, and then finally shutting down. And then Dad is at the church that they're at now, and Dad loves his pastor. He Dad ain't going nowhere. Child, he ain't going nowhere to the Lord come home because that church I don't believe will ever get to a point of you know closing. So yeah, he's loyal to his church for real. He's not leaving. And mom, mom is the type of wife. My dad is the head of the household, so when he said go, that's when they go. So anyway, yeah, they ain't coming. But anyway, she was like, yeah, we're coming. I said, oh yeah, we're coming. And so then, um, pastor came over and he was like. Now, I know y'all might thought I was talking to you. And she was like, you know, cousin, I'm coming, you know, and this and that. She said, I just, you know, I'm taking my time. I want to be led. And he said, yeah. He said, I want you to be led by the Spirit. He said, I don't want you joining out of emotion. He said, when you are ready, he said, you hear the word of God. He said, then you will come. And I said, that's right. I said, and that's what I'm waiting on. I said, but, you know, in the interim, while I'm waiting for God to, to move and to speak, I said, I will be here. Can you get out of my way, please? Thank you. What are we doing? Anyway, so um, and he was like, yeah, he said, and I'm gonna preach on that too. He said, so y'all just y'all just keep coming. That's what he said. Y'all just keep coming. He said, but yeah, he said, I'm gonna preach on that too about listening to the spirit and not listening to emotion. And I'm like, I know that's right. And he said, I don't do nothing without you know God say so and this and that and da da da. And so I was like, okay. So I mean, cousin D got it. You know, he he knows not to to push us because see we. My cousin and I, we Gen Xers. <laughs> we are Gen Xers. So, you know, I mean, we, we raised by the boomers, but, you know, we still got our own minds, too. But, I mean, he know. And I think, you know, um, First Lady has said, hey, don't push them. Let them, you know, join on their own. And so, yeah. But church was good. Nonetheless, church was good. Y'all, even coming out in this sub-zero weather. 
you know, and he even talked about that too. He said, I know it's easy to come to church when it's 80 degrees. He said, it's not so easy when it's negative. He said, so I appreciate y'all. You know, y'all keep, you know, rocking with me. I'm going to keep rolling with you. He said, now I know what, what it meant, what the pastors meant when they would see rain or snow or, you know, severe weather, whatever. They would start praying about, you know, they hope that, you know, the, the uh, members would still show up. He said, because I, I was at that point this morning myself. So, but yeah. So it was good, y'all. Y'all know me. I, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm keep it 100. Um, the other thing he talked about that I didn't write down because at that point I was like intensively listening, but he talked about, um, you know, being content. Well, what? Being content on what we have and not trying to get what other folks have. And he said, you know, God God won't bless you if you not content with what you currently have. He said, if you got a house, it may not be a big house, but it's a roof over your head. Be content with that. He said, because if you constantly complaining or you vying for somebody else's, he said, God not going to bless you to get to that next level. He said, so, you know, God look at you ain't taking care of what I already blessed you with. So how I'm going to bless you with something else, you know? You might have a two-bedroom house, but you want that five-bedroom house. Take care of the two-bedroom you got now. You know, be be appreciative of what you have and not try to be vying for other things. You know, like you got to get the next and next and next. Child, when I tell you, the scripture, the preacher, the worship, it all ties together. Lord have mercy. Oh, I feel so good. I feel so good. Mm-mm-mm. So I'm getting ready to go home and see if we are going to the Capitol. I know Boss Man was talking about going to get popcorn. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I actually want to go home and put my feet up for a minute. I'm supposed to be making chili, rice, and cornbread today. I don't know if I'm do the cornbread, though. I just kind of want to make the chili and rice. Miss Peanut begged me to buy some shredded cheese, so I did. I do need, I should have stopped by the store on my way home so then I don't have to say, I need to stop by the store. I need to get some bread. I do I need some, uh, I need a loaf of bread. I thought we had bread and no. So I need to get some bread. But I think Boss Man wants to go to the store too so that's why I'm just going to go straight home. But anyway, church was good. I'm feeling good. Whew. I'm about to go find that song on YouTube so I can blast it out because that's where I'm at right now. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. So, thank you guys for... I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I mean... This person behind me was getting ready to go around me because the person in front of me is going very, very slow. Uh, but there was an oncoming car, so then they had to swing back. Child, be be ignorant, to say the least. It, and mind you, that road that I was on, it's 20 miles per hour. So you, I mean, I think we probably all was doing about 25. But quit trying to push people down the street. That's what was happening Friday night when it was really bad weather crazy crazy and i'm not trying to get no accident in this sub-zero weather and be stuck on the side of the road child uh-uh anyway anyhow but y'all be blessed and have a good week if i don't talk to y'all again have a good week have a good week i'm gonna go home edit this video and have it already prepped and ready to go and i'm gonna go and finish y'all having the rest of my three-day weekend I got one more day to relax, so y'all be blessed. See y'all in a new video. Bye, guys.